I have to sympathize with Nigerians. And the reason why I'm saying that are because these killings, if we don't stand to make the executives act, it will not stop. Just yesterday we were here, we were talking about the killings. We gave the IG ultimatum of 14 days. But instead of something to reduce, or instead of the killings to at least reduce, it has still continued. Mr. President, let me give an example. If you look at all the areas where these killings are taking place, they are called soft target. Why are they called soft target? Because you will never see the presence of any security man around that place. Today, Mr. President, I brought so, so many suggestions concerning the way we are going to reform the police. But the government took it personal. I said it because I was in the security cycle. And I've worked with so many VIPs. I know what is happening in the country. Just this Monday, Mr. President, I was going to National Defense uh, Academy in uh, Kaduna in the morning. When we were past, I, I left my house 6 a.m. We were going throughout from Abuja to Kaduna. We only saw three police vehicles. One inside filling station, one by the road, then another APC. Around 6 o'clock. We passed that place. I reached NDA before around 9 o'clock. I finished what I was doing in NDA around 10 o'clock and I was coming back. Immediately when I was coming back, I saw more than 20 vehicles of the policemen. That means between the hour of 4 o'clock, maybe 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock, they will leave their duty post and disappear. And that is the time these criminals normally use to unleash this kind of uh, 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 terror on these uh, 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 innocent citizens. And we have said it here. Mr. President, why can't we know the, the uh, uh, number of people by each local, number of security men by each local government? We are talking here. We don't even know how many people are guarding our communities. And why should one marketer, because somebody is dealing with, with, with uh, uh, oil, have like 30 policemen in this Abuja? One single person, 30 policemen. And by United Nations standard, one policeman is supposed to be for 400 people. And even in Nigeria at these statistics, it is one policeman to 800 people. Even at then, we have taken more than 150 policemen guarding banks, guarding VIPs, embassies. I don't have problem with that. But if, somebody, if we are going to give those services, then these people should pay for these services so that we'll be able to recruit more people to have more equipment. But there is no way bank oil companies will be paying millions and it will be going to people's pockets and we are not improving with the equipment, we are not improving the accommodation, we are not even getting more uh, 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 policemen. Mr. President, a lot of things is wrong. We don't hold anybody accountable. Today, there was a time the IG came here during this uh, uh, hearing about this uh, Abuja Kaduna, I told him, why can't you man maybe each five kilometers, put a SPO, that is a senior police officer, to man that place so that if anything happens uh, between that uh, uh, five kilometers, that person will be held accountable for that. Nobody, people will kill and the DPO will be there, people will kill the commissioner of police there, people will be killed and the ID is still listening because they have people in the villa to protect them. When I met this, this thing, some people went to uh, uh, the president and told him that me, I'm going after his family. And because of that one, they packaged to uh, uh, attorney general to take me to court. I was told. The attorney general said, ID ran to him to help him that uh, this thing, I've, I'm, uh, uh, I'm challenging uh, the family of the president. I'm not doing it. I'm doing it for Nigerians. I'm not doing it for myself. ID cannot do anything to me. I'm not a contractor. I'm not looking for contract. I'm not looking for money from anybody. But I am doing it for this nation. Today, the DG NIA that was just appointed, is he qualified to be there? He's not qualified. He, this is a person that failed two exams. We know. He failed two exams. And he just because he's close to the cabal, he's close to the people taking decisions, giving what to do, uh, this thing, and he was appointed. Yes. So, and these are the kind of things that we sometimes avoid, or sometimes we say, and we should not say anything. As long as we leave some certain things, 
we will continue to have this kind of problem. So many incompetent people are holding so many positions. Even today, I don't feel the presence of ministers. So many ministers, 50% of the ministers are not performing. Since the time the president has assumed office, he has not taken any decision to check this country. Today, we are seeing it, and everybody is avoiding it. Nobody wants to say anything. Until we begin to talk, all these things that we are doing here, it cannot solve this our, our problem. If we like, let us call any kind of conference. You, are, we as legislators, we cannot implement anything. The executive, they have the power to implement all these decisions, and if they don't want to implement it, or if they don't care with what we are saying, right from the beginning of this, uh, they term the National Assembly as their enemies. What are we doing? It's because we are trying to put direction to the government for them to succeed. But so many people will go, even, even when we are on holiday, so many people were going behind to say that uh, they, they, should try as, uh, they should try now and remove the Senate president. I know dur during this holiday, they were saying that some, and it was a minister that was spearheading that thing. What is the reason? They said they are suspecting that uh, a senior president will leave APC. That they should create more problems for him so that they will uh, remove him. So what kind of a system are we? Why are we so this thing? Everything about religion, everything about tribe, everything about uh, 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 this thing. Sensitive position. We cannot even get uh, uh, people, uh, competent people to hold it, uh, handle it. So why, what do you want us to do? Mr. President, I think it is right time. It is right time for us. Let us know what to do. If it is about talking here, if it is about conference, it will not solve this problem until we look at how the security system is. Who are, who and who are holding a uh, uh, certain position? Are they competent? Or were they appointed on merit? Because so many people are not appointed on merit. It's just because this man is my brother, this man is my relative, this one comes from my village. So many appointments in this government. It's not a merit. And there are some people now that are, they have taken over the government if, as if they are even above the president. They take decisions anyhow. Look at now, even, okay, now we are saying we are fighting corruption. Simple thing, Baba Chir, Senate indicted him. Vice President Committee indicted him. Today they are pursuing other people. Why can't they take Baba Chir to court? What is, well, and all of us are here keeping quiet. And people that have not done anything are always in court. And this is a man that squandered money meant for, not is for IDPs. And he's still visiting the villa every day. Look at this minor issue. This attorney general is becoming a nuisance. Look at the attorney general going to, going to court to stop Senate from investigating minor. And we, still, and we are still here. The IG came here with a lawyer, IG. That is not going to answer any question from the, uh, uh, the Senate. And after that one, he went to institute another uh, 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 in court restraining the uh, uh, Senate from investigating him. And today we are here and we are talking about security. If the IG cannot come and face the Senate and tell them what he is doing, he is going, uh, going about with uh, uh, lawyers, then what are we saying? Is the chief, is the male person? That is supposed to protect internal, internally, supposed to protect life and property. All these ones that we are doing, army, they are just supporting the police. Just yesterday, when I was passing in the morning to Gorimpa, I saw uh, army, navy escorting Abuja Environmental Protection (FCT) to to em enforce people that are selling on the road. Army and navy escorting FCT Abuja Environmental Protection. So, which kind of country are, are we? So, Mr. President, these are small, small issues. If we are just to give medicine, if we are to just give medicine, so many things we have, there is failure of leadership. Whether we like it or not, there is a fundamental, uh, 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 so many things are wrong. Until we sit down, let us forget about religion, let us forget about tribe, let us forget about where we come from. I went to Federal Government College, Azare, a unity school. I look at everybody from this Nigeria as my brother. Today, how many of our leaders look at all of us as brothers? How many of us? Until we begin to realize this kind of thing, we can't just be giving medicine without trying to investigate what is the cause of that ailment. We have to, do, we have to go deep. But by the time we stay, okay, somebody will come, I'm sick, you say, okay, take Panadol, without checking what is the reason, what, what caused that headache. 
A lot of things is wrong, and we have started descending. If we have, if we don't do anything now, because election, because now, from what I'm seeing now, we have started election work. Because I saw some governors going to the villa to make endorsement. Very soon now, even me, I will gather some people to make endorsement. That means election has started. Listen, so Mr. President, this is the right time. We have started descending. This is the right time for us to do the right thing. I think the leadership, the leadership of this National Assembly should go and have one-on-one -on -one -on -one talk with the President. People are, is, is, is as if it's not in charge. It's as if some people are the ones in charge of this country. Even the DG NIA that we are talking about, they said some, some people in the cabal, they are the ones that appointed that person to be, to be there without cross-checking other things. So, Mr. President, you and the, uh, uh, and the speaker, if you want to put some other leaders in the uh, 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 part of leadership in this, you must see, brother, we have, not, we have two or three, or, or three months to correct this thing. If we don't correct it, that is the end. If you look at what is happening now in the social media and papers, you can see this is the government that came with credibility, that came with so many things. I saw uh, uh, the other time, uh, 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 last week, two paper carry condemning the government. Uh, 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 today, uh, uh, so many people are condemning the government. And this is busy, I can say. This is the government. This is the government that came with all this kind of things. So that, Mr. President, try as much as possible. Let us try and do the right thing. If there are certain people that are uh, misleading the president, let the president sack them. Let the president sack them. Because as long as they are there, they will not allow the president to perform effectively. So this is the simple uh, uh, thing. Thank you, Mr. President.